Hi, my name is Sonia Patel and I'm a clinical dietitian. Today we are going to be talking about fat diets. Fat diet is a diet that becomes popular for a short time similar to fads in fashion without being a standard dietary recommendation and often making miraculous claims for fast weight loss or health improvement these are the kinds of diets that you often see endorsed by celebrities or promoted through media some high particular foods like cabbage foods that contain probiotics or raw foods although some diets may recommend in special situations many of these may lack major nutrients such as dietary fibers carbohydrate as well as selected vitamins minerals and protective phytochemicals by not receiving the right amounts of these nutrients you can develop serious health problems so you shall never adopt a fat diet before consulting to your doctor and a dietitian some of the most popular fat diets are one vegan diet it's a diet which people avoid all the products that are derived from an animal like meat eggs dairy products but can consume all sorts of fruits vegetables grains legumes nuts and seeds the benefits of following a such lifestyle reduce cardiovascular disease diabetes and even health and weight loss however the elimination of major food groups can lead to deficiencies in proteins vitamins minerals like iron zinc iodine calcium vitamin d vitamin b12 the other very famous diet is ketogenic diet the ketogenic diet is very low in carb high in fat that involves drastically reducing carbohydrate intake and replacing it with fats this reduction in the carbs put your body into a metabolic state called ketosis when this happens your body becomes incredibly efficient at burning fat for energy it also turns fat into ketones in the liver which can supply energy for the brain Keto diets have been proved to be very effective in weight loss and also showed improved blood sugar, blood pressure, triglyceride and cholesterol level markers. However, many of the foods that make up the keto diets are high in saturated fat and meats. These can increase cholesterol which often leads to risk of heart diseases. Keto limits lot of high fiber nutrient dense fruits, starchy vegetables, whole grains, legumes. It may also not provide enough of certain vitamins and minerals needed for optimal health. The third one is paleo diet. The paleo diet or caveman diet attempts to get back to basics by emphasizing on natural, not processed foods. It focuses on fruit groups such as fresh fruits, vegetables, seeds and nuts, lean meats, fish that is rich in omega 3 and unprocessed oil avoid grains legumes dairy processed foods salt processed sugar it would help with weight loss reduce appetite control sugar levels and blood pressure the typical paleo diet however puts most at risk for deficiencies in calcium vitamin d which are critical to bone health at the same time saturated fat and proteins can be consumed far above recommended levels increasing the risk of kidney and heart diseases and certain cancers as well the fourth is gluten free diet it is a diet where you avoid any food item that has gluten in it such as wheat rye barley but apart from this you can enjoy fresh fruits vegetables fish all the dairy products seeds nuts flaws which has no gluten present in it it helps reduce body fat stores bloating constipation improves immune system of the body however people follow these diets can face complaints from low fiber content several b vitamins including thiamine riboflavin niacin and folic acid they also need to watch their vitamin d iron and calcium intake The fifth one is the very famous intermittent fasting. 
one of the most popular diet which cycles around a period of fasting and eating the most common is 16 is to 8 method where you eat for 8 hours and the rest 16 hours is fasting period where you eat nothing or you can have water if thirsty health benefits are reduced inflammation reduction in the body fat stores reduces cholesterol level diabetes also better immunization against cancer however this diet is difficult to sustain in the long run and skipping meals can cause headaches dizziness nausea and may trigger eating disorders as well the sixth is the gm diet the gm diet also known as general motors diet is a diet plan that promises to help you lose around seven kilos in a week the duration of the diet is one week and each day you are supposed to eat different foods the diet involves eating detoxifying foods that have negative calories the foods included in the diet are negative calorie foods which mean they provide you with fewer calories than they take to digest many foods recommended in the diet are high in water proponents of the diet say that you can repeat the diet multiple times to achieve your weight loss goals but there should be a gap of five to seven days between the two cycles though this diet proclaims miraculous weight loss it is deficient in certain vital nutrients like vitamin b12 calcium and iron a low calorie diet more often results in muscle loss and can slow metabolism which makes it harder to lose weight in the future it may also cause irritability and mood swings also not recommended for a long-term weight loss the term fat diet encompasses a variety of diet with different approaches and evidence bases different outcomes advantages and disadvantages thus proper research should be done before you decide to adopt a fat diet also make sure to consult with your dietitian for the same as many fat diet market themselves highlighting only the advantages remember there is no replacement for regular exercise and eating healthy you should adopt a fat diet knowing that it affects although faster may not be consistent in the long term